Hi there. In this video, I would like to demonstrate in alternating knit one, purl one, long tail cast on. Before we get started, I would like to review how to do a standard long tail cast on. With the, with the ball yarn over your index finger and the tail yarn over your thumb, you'd place your needle under the yarn and this is how you would work it. Okay, you'll notice in here we've made all knit stitches. It looks like a knit stitch. To work an alternating knit one, purl one, then, so let's assume here our first stitch is a knit stitch, then our next stitch has to be a purl stitch, then we would go behind our index finger, grab that loop, and bring the thumb loop through it. You'll notice here I held on to this loop over the yarn, uh, over the needle throughout the whole entire process. And that is needed because if you let go of it, then it will come apart. So just remember to do so as you're working your purl stitch. So now we've got a knit stitch and a purl stitch, and we're ready to make a, pearl uh, a knit stitch again. So we would do it like this. Then we would work our next purl stitch like this. Knit. Purl. Knit. And purl. One more time. Knit. And purl. You'll notice here we've got these stitches in pairs and our you know, knit, purl, knit, purl, etc. You'll notice that our purl stitches have these bumps in the front. To work a, an alternating purl one, knit one uh, sequence, you would do it similarly. You place your yarn under the, the needle under your yarn and then this first loop then becomes the purl stitch then you would do a knit stitch then you would begin the sequence with purl knit purl knit purl and knit Again, it's up to you or the pattern you're working with, what to start with, but you would follow the same process for creating pearls and knits. If you would like to see the alternating knit one, purl one, long tail cast on, worked with the yarn held traditional or English style, join me in part two of this video. Thank you.